Welcome back to another video. So, Katia V5 or 3D Experience Katia. I have over here the same part, which is the last case study for reverse engineering that I created. And I have also imported this within 3D Experience. Now, I'm really curious what's your opinion regarding this. If you will also be willing to switch to 3D Experience from Katia V5. And uh, let's see what would be the main advantages of that. We're going to see that the functionality will be the same. So within the newer version, if I will enable dynamic sectioning, it will do the same. So we can start work with that. One of the drawbacks over here is that um, we see dynamic section right activated, but I can just swap the different plane in order to go within a, a different section. If I will go over here within the older one, the functionality will be exactly the same. So there are no changes regarding this. So regarding the review part of the components. I'm really curious regarding part design and so on, if um, people have seen anything different. Because from what I've seen, the functionality will be exactly the same. For example, over here with Impad, we have this interface where we can specify the first limit, the second limit. We can also define this directly as a thin uh, profile over here, as we can see. And if I will go within Katia V5 for the same pad, and I will check the definition, we're going to see that this will be the equivalent of that. So in order to define that um, tick profile, we have the possibility over here to check the tick box. So that um, has been transferred over here. So we see that the profile is taken in its support plane. Now, this is regarding a simple part, just like the one we have over here with multiple um, pockets within a pad and afterwards a chamfer. Now, I'm really curious if people are willing to swap from Katia V5 to Katia 3D Experience. And let's take a look at the following video over here. So this is from uh, Dassault System regarding the launch of Katia 3D Experience, not really the launch, let's say the wide adoption for Katia V5 users. So let's take a look at this. You want with 3D Experience Katia, but you will make it much more fun. Today, we we'll talk about the benefits of moving from Katia V5 to 3D Experience Katia. Let's have a look at your questions. Of course you do. First of all, 3D Experience Katia is very easy to learn. Secondly, you can read data from V5, put it in 3D Experience. Thirdly, you can output the data in any format to exchange with your supplier or your customers. Don't wait. Go now. Okay, so we see that 3D Experience can easily integrate Katia V5 parts. So I did the same over here within part design it has some digital shape um, elements over here like the point cloud and we can have all of those transferred over here so we see the point cloud if i will go to properties the same exact graphic properties will also be available over here so regarding this the functionality will be the same the main advantage is that the viewport over here will look a little bit better so we can enable uh, the, the view to have this uh, nice reflection for the, that part but other than that I'm really not um, that familiarized with this new workbench over here for example for part design where we're gonna see the pad pocket and the other tools listed over here we're gonna have the rib and slot added over here and if you want to define some patterns we need to go within the transform section over here while within the older version, we had uh, those transform elements added over here. So we see the transformation features. And the main advantage is that um, we can have them all nested like this on the toolbar, and it will be a little bit easier to work with. I'm sure that within Katia V5, you can also customize this, but in some workbenches, for example, um, over here where we see the essential, there are tool palettes 
every, everyone over here. And um, in some cases, within some workbenches, those tools, like over here, for example, tools, we're going to see that they will not all be added within the viewport, and we can pan around to access all of those. I'm sure that we can also rescale this, so like this, and afterwards we're going to have them all positioned. But I'm really sure that most CATIA users are familiarized with um, that older system from CATIA v5, where you can just drag them over here, you can hold down shift in order to make them vertical or horizontal, you can just customize your user interface a lot, um, a lot better. So I'm sure that within the newer version you can also do that, but people are just uh, familiar with that workbench. For example, that is my, uh, my case. Let's take a look at some additional uh, changes and why you should uh, swap. Yes, there are a lot of differences. You have extra capability that are coming directly from 3D Experience. So not only, again, you will day one be able to do everything you want with 3D Experience Katia, but you will make it much more faster. So the gain is there. Go ahead. So regarding solid modeling and surface modeling, there are many additional tools over here workbench so usually you can do that over here on the 3d rolls and over here you can uh, you can swap those you're gonna see a wide variety of workbenches over here but um, within katia v5 it's a little bit let's say in some case the transition is a little bit faster if i just want to go within uh, general tissue design i can just do that i can also customize over here or i can add them uh, as quick uh, workbenches over here as well so maybe it works a little bit better also regarding the startup of the software katia v5 will start in a few seconds while katia 3 experience will uh, require uh, roughly around let's say around 20 to 30 seconds at least in my case when you just gonna start it initially afterwards you can swap the workbenches without um, without having to wait but the initial startup of the software, since this is a cloud solution, at least in my opinion, takes a little bit of, uh, of time. Okay, so let's take a look at the following reason why you should swap. Just a couple of hours, okay? Your expert Katia V5 designers will learn the system very quickly and your rookie guy will also learn the system very quickly, maybe even faster. Day one, they will be as productive as what they were by using Katia V5. Your pictures are on the cloud, right? Your music is on the cloud, right? You should use 3 expands Katia on the cloud. It's very secure. You can get access to 3 expands Katia from everywhere, from any device, even from your smartphone. It's the best solution for you to be more efficient. Okay, so regarding this, I really do consider that it is great to have that cloud platform. At least I'm using Fusion for that, and it is a lot easier to manage the files and everything, and also to add um, additional components from various suppliers, I find it that within Fusion 360, with their cloud integration, that works really good. And I'm sure that is the same within uh, 3D Experience. I haven't used it yet. But all I know is that um, over here within Katia v5, mainly the catalog browser is quite, um, quite big over here. So all of these are quite old. So depending on, the, on your build, you see over here my build, 27. But um, yeah, this is one of the main advantage of having this on cloud. You can also add components from suppliers directly within an assembly. You can do that within Katia v5 also, but it's not that, uh, let's say, um, rapid. And, uh, and the workflow is not that well implemented. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. Let me know in the comment section if you are also deciding to give Katia 3D Experience a try, or mostly if um, you will still continue to use Katia V5. 
So, if you enjoy this kind of content, also consider to, to subscribe to the channel. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.